Hello. In this video, we are going to show you, how you can implement video buffering like YouTube in your website using Node.js. First, I am going to create a folder for my project. Then I will open it in my code editor. I will also open command prompt in this folder. Then I will initialize npm in it. Press enter to set default values. Type yes. Then I am going to install the required modules. Express module will be used to create an API to get the buffered video data. FS means file system, it will be used to get the video file. And EJS is a templating engine used for rendering HTML files. Once installed, you can start the server using nodemonserver.js. Now in our project folder, we need to create a file named server.js. Open package.json. Set the main file as server.js. And restart the server. Now in your server.js file, include the express module. And create an instance of it. Include file system module. Set the app's view engine as EJS. And start listening to server at port 3000. We can get the server port using process. .env which stands for environment. Dot port. If the port number is not set in server's environment, then the port 3000 will be used. This callback will be called when the server started running. So the server started running. Now we will create the main route. It will have request and result. Result will be used to render the HTML file. We will create this file in our views folder. In this file, we will create a video tag. Give it a width. And controls. And create source tag. Set the source attribute to the Node.js API path. We will create this API in a moment. And the type will be video mp4. So you can see that the media is sending a request to the server but the root is not found. So we will create this root in our server.js file. First, we will ensure that there is a range given for the video. Then we will get the size of video. We will be using this video as a sample. We will get 1 megabyte in each chunk.
Then we will use a regular expression to get the starting number by removing all the non-digit characters from the range. And we will get the end value by finding the minimum value between current chunk size. and total video size. Then we will find the content length by subtracting start from end. Create a headers object. Set the content range. This will be the partial content sent to the client. Except ranges will be the unit, we will be using bytes. Content length is the size of data in the body of the request, it will be in bytes. And our content type will be video mp4. Right head will send the response to the client. Status 206 means that it is a partial content, not full. And we will pass the headers to it. Then we will read the video file from specific part, depending on the current buffer. VideoStream.pipe will tell the destination where the data will be placed. We will set it as result, so the data will sent to the client. Now if you refresh the page. You will see that it will only fetch the 1 megabyte data of the video. And will fetch the next 1 megabyte only when required. You can see in Network tab that it is constantly receiving partial content from the server. That's how you can create a video buffering like YouTube. If you face any problem in following this, kindly do let me know.